This video today is a demonstration of auto landing at multiple runways. The auto land itself is written in Kerbal operating system. So I'll just start up the script now. Uh, before I forget, I'm using the Aeris 3A, one of the stock vessels from KSP, because uh, I like to actually test it out using the stock vessels, so you will know that my script will actually work with these, at least with these vessels, so it may not work with others. It usually will work, um, but occasionally it won't work. So I'm sticking with the stock craft, just... Um, because they're crafts that anyone running KSP is going to have access to. Okay, the, sc the screen says it all really. Uh, it's going to head out to Airstrip Island, land there, take off, return, and land back at the KSC. So I think um, it's actually quite a complicated landing, so what I'll do is I'll just switch all the displays off, uh, just so you can have a better look at them. Uh, I do have to leave this one on, just to save a bit of time, I'll get up a bit closer to the island, it's pretty boring just um, flying across the sea. So watch very carefully, uh, I'm trying to do this in one take. Um, Surprisingly enough, you can run at exactly the same time every time, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it's a bit of floating point error, I don't know. Uh, but hopefully it'll work this time. I, I, I like to do everything in a single cut if I can. Uh, it's higher than it looks. So I've just got camera chase switched on, so I'm not I'm not going to change the view at all because once that happens, it's just confusing. You don't know what's going on. I just wanted uh, the um, the landing here to be clear, so you can see exactly what I've done.
Wonderful. Um, if you, th you suspect that I cheated a little by using the Aeris 3A, you're quite right. It's a it's a very stable and um, responsive craft. So I did actually pick this one on purpose just to increase my chances. Um, but you have to admit um, the uh, the old airfield um, landing from 270 is not not an easy landing. It's much easier from the um, the 90 degree end. Okay, so I'll just take off again. Okay, we just head back to the KSC. Uh, just physics, physics accelerate here. It's uh, pretty boring flying over the sea. Uh, I will tell you one thing: um, you wouldn't normally do 30-kilometer approaches. I mean, I mean, why? I mean, there's no point. What you do is you set up a waypoint that is much closer to the airport. Uh, fly to the waypoint at a much higher speed and then do the uh, approach and landing from the waypoint but in this case I just wanted to demonstrate how so the air, the, the runways here and I'm, I'm over here so I'm just the script automatically aims off and stuff like that uh, I tried out various different algorithms to get this to work and this one works okay uh, but all the details are in the script if you want to know the details just speed this up a bit. Oh, um, there is another interesting thing. If you set waypoints in the sea, which would make sense, like you could set one out here or one over here, whatever, to help you landing, um, the waypoint is actually on the sea floor, not on, not at sea level. So the terrain height is in um, Kerbal operating system is different than sea level height so if you um, set a waypoint here it'll actually be the sea bottom the sea bottom is actually quite deep around here it's over a kilometer I just wonder if they're going to do some submarines at some point you never know coming in at these slow controllable speeds is like watching paint dry honestly but this is just a demonstration I don't want to physics accelerate at this point because it will probably um, upset the trim of the craft a bit Um, but if you got boring um, stretches, you have to keep talking. So you run out of things. That, um, you run out of things to say very quickly. Looks like it's going to be a good one this time. It's lined up pretty well. It's only because it's going slow. 
my um, alignment algorithm is not that precise. It's good enough though, good enough for these demonstrations. See when I did this last time there was no bounce so it, you can have exactly the same conditions and you get a slightly different result. Uh, it's probably due to the uh, to the floating point error. Okay then um, I'll just uh, finish it off here. Um, I'll also post the new version of my um, auto land script uh, along with the videos so um, I do I do try to put in some as many comments as I can that kind of explain what what I'm actually doing but ultimately uh, you have to be patient enough to read the code until next time